They're dusted for a reason. I'm gonna go with a sure safe bet of a Don't red one. Don't pick the black one. Right. Do you, do you roast pork and then have the real crispy skin? Like, yeah. No, I don't do that. I don't like a this. A Jaffa cake. It's confusing. See? <laughs> a Jaffa cake? Welcome to round two of Eat the Treat. This is where I've brought with me some British snacks for the guys to try, and we're really interested to see their reactions. Um, I've obviously brought with me a eclectic mix, um, a mixture of savory and sweet. I'll go first. It's like a shrimp cocktail chip. Just like a barbecue chip. Barbecue. Okay. Yeah, I heard that with the other group as well. It's a barbecue chip. I'll crush here. Hold on, I want one more. Imagine okay, prawns right. on the barbecue with some sauce, right? It's easy. All day. It definitely tastes like cocktail sauce. Cocktail sauce. Yeah, fine. Mm -hmm. I'll mm -hmm. do it. It's the same thing then. Yeah, a little Those are fine. Those are. Yeah, those are good. I need those. And these are crisps, right? Not chips, yeah? yeah. Right, next. We've got some uh, sweet shortbread. This is Scottish bread, yeah. influence. This is where it originally comes from. I'm Scottish. Are you? Mm hmm. Alright, yeah, we're gonna go for the big peas. All day. It reminds me of those cookies that come in the tins at Christmas. Butter cookies, is that what those are called? Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty much. Mm -hmm. I'd imagine it would be similar. And these are, these go well with cups of tea, right? Right, number three, we've got jelly babies. Are those, that sounds very are those sour? No. They're dusted for a reason. I'm gonna go with a sure safe bet of a Don't pick one. the black one. Right. Jeb, what color you want? It's a little sad that it has to be a jelly baby. Like, go with like a bear. Yeah, why is it a baby? Like, why are we eating babies? Weird. They have names as well. So some people go real sadistic and just bite the head first, right? Like oh, Jeb. Red one? Why are they powdered? <laughs> Make Jeb eat the black. Oh, no. it was squishier than I expected. Yeah, just split it. I, I don't want to they put a face on it. Yeah, and they have names. Take care of them. I black feel like I'm about to feed my baby yeah, a baby. Like a just, just fruit. Mm -hmm. like, oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like a wild berry. Yeah, yeah, right. What is that? Pork. Some pork rinds. Mm -hmm. I'm not eating that. That's the one oh, that I think Rachel. This is classic. Go to the pub, have a pint of ale, and get your pack of pork scratchers. What's inside here? <laughs> Sit in front of the fire. A pack of pork scratchers. I think my mom had some of these yesterday. The, the darker, he likes like, it. They just label it differently. Yeah. Throw a little chili powder on there, and a little salt. Mm. Throw a little, Kim doesn't look pleased. Squeeze. I mean... Nah, this is like... It's just it's like, like, it's a fried thing, you know? It's a fried thing, but yeah. it's a little off. No, do, you, do you roast pork and then have like a real crispy skin? Like, yeah. Yeah, no, that, I don't do that. Yeah. That's, that's pretty traditional as well. <laughs> and I've done that one with this one. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Oh, we each get our own bar? Wow. Yeah. This is now Dairy Milk Chocolate. Okay. Oh. Now I can categorically say that American chocolate has got nothing on English chocolate. All right. Oh, you, we'll took two of, you took two of them for we'll yourself. Be, I was going to open it for you. Oh. <laughs> Benny <laughs> caught that. Let me stop being a gentleman. It's creamy. Does it have something in it? No, just, just standard Dairy Milk Chocolate. Mm. You got to like let it melt, don't chew it. You did exactly what Carolina did the other day. Just waited a bit. <laughs> Moms. <laughs> We don't, I, I don't think any of us eat chocolate often enough to compare yeah, it. Yeah, I think so. Because okay. like I would like, if you're shot. trying to throw like a Twix at me, then I'm, mm, see, that's what we identify Twix. with. Give me like a Twix. I used to, and then this I is the combo. Like, this is tea and biscuit. We've got a standard we rich tea. You dip it? You dip it first. Don't hold it in there too long. Should I dip it, it in my tea apart. or this tea? Is that is like that a specific tea? So, this is the controversy, which Noodle got uh, DM for. Uh, people were like, I can't believe you used Earl Grey. So this is a fancier tea, let's say, okay. but it's a traditional English tea. Oh. I could have gone normal tea, but I wanted to just mix so this it. Is like, we're, is this it, is like legit tea time right now. Is, this is tea and biscuits. Oh, so this is why Salvi had to go get some milk? <laughs> How long do I hold it in here for? Not long, it will fall <laughs> apart. Yeah, that's nice. It's, it's pleasant, right? I know, man. It's one of those comfort mid-afternoon mid snack break things. Yeah, we, I really feel the It's time. like a Ritz cracker, but... <laughs> A little bit better. Yeah, little so this sweeter. is which tea. I nearly went with something called a hobnob, which is like an OT. Here is oh, this the... Is a, this is our stomach. No, no, no. I messed up, I feel this it. is the love it or hate it. And that's a phrase that is pretty common as well. So I feel like I can smell it. What is this? What is These that? are called twiglets, that which are just a crisp snack or a, what you put, a chip. Um, they're just... It's just a it's just a twig shaped crisp. I mean, it's, 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 it's covered in something that we would call marmite, which is a yeast extract, which also is connected with beer, beer leftover like flavor. I say okay. yeast. Yeah, it's yeasty. <laughs> it's like a pretzel <laughs> stick. Anybody want some yeast sticks? Yeah, pretzel stick consistency. Yeah, cool. All right. Yeah, t Kim, you got to take one. That. It's like a like, Wait, a, little like a burnt pretzel. The boys yeah, like the weird ones. Smoky, yeah, it's a burnt Cheeto. 
It's like a Cheeto. It's like a Cheeto that didn't make it out of the factory, so they still wanted to make money. It's a burnt cracker. So they turned it into a yeast cracker. They burned the pretzel. Yeah, that's like yeah. That looks tasty. Right, this is a Jaffa cake, which I'm going to say surprise in the middle. I'm not going to say it. I'm just going to experience it. Hold on. <laughs> this is inappropriate for the video, so obviously you might have to edit this out, but it said, it sounded like you said, this is ejaculate. <laughs> There's a surprise in the middle. <laughs> I was like, okay. What's this called again? Actually, Jeffrey. that's not at all what it sounded like. <laughs> that's what it sounded like <laughs> over on this end to me. I don't like a this. A Jaffa cake. A it's confusing. <laughs> a Jaffa cake? It's a Jaffa cake. Jaffa cake. See, exactly. Jaffa cake. I was like, what is it called? I can get down with the bottom or the top. But the combo <laughs> is making me upset. You, well, you know, you're not used to it. See if Kim likes it. <laughs> Let's see what you can't say bottom or top. <laughs> what you think, man? Lemon cream in oh, there. there's orange. orange. Yeah, it's kind of like Oh, is that uh, filling oh, again? Oh, there it is. Maybe I missed that. There That's just a puff of it. Ah, yeah. Mm. I love chocolate oranges. It's like my favorite treat. Yeah, this actually... is this is a this is a murdered baby inside the yeah. cracker. Oh, yeah. I see, I see, I see. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you know, I gotta say, the bottom of this, they could improve the bottom cookie yeah. portion. It's like yeah, stale it's just... angel cookie. Yeah, it's... they can improve the bottom portion. I swear they keep it stale, like, and then make it. Right. Right, last one. I figured I'd keep with a sucking sweet for the end. This is called a humbug. A humbug? A humbug. Sucking sweet. Wonderful. Humbug. Is this like butterscotch? Like what oh, flavor are we looking for meat. here? Oh. But then there is a toffee middle, so don't just bite straight okay, into that's it. that's a confusing combination. This is something that my granddaddy <laughs> would have had in his pocket for like a for solid sure. five years that and pulled weird. out. <laughs> that is not what I expected. I feel like it was one of these things. <laughs> upset it's my like stomach, a... it's this one. I'm just gonna wrap it all up. Are you chewing it? Mm -mm. Oh gosh. So when I was growing up, my granddaddy, he had peppermints in his pocket at all times and would always give them to us. So this is like super comforting. I love this. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. Bring me back those chips. I think there's like a bag of them somewhere, baby. There's a whole bag on there. No, perfect. Like nah, your, this is perfect. You like your chips. Just a handful, right? No, I'll finish them all. It's like barbecue meets vinegar. Like yeah. you see salt yeah. and vinegar. Yeah. Yeah. It's a hint of fish. Yeah. <laughs> so that wraps up. Eat the treat part two with these guys. Um, it's cool to see all the reactions happening for this one. Looking forward to doing this again sometime in the future with some new snacks, maybe. Mm. Nice. Have good fun. Have good fun watching this. Let's do a Mexican when, session next. When do we get to react? Really give you stomachs. Mexican snacks. Let's do a combo of Mexican and okay. Filipino. Oh, that's wreck your. Give him one of those pieces of chocolate, Salvi. <laughs>